you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Greet our pastor, Pastor Hall, Pastor Virgin, our evangelists in the house, mm. visitors and friends. We are here tonight to give you the message. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know this song kept bugging my mind. I'm running. My running days will soon be over. But I just want to make it to the other side. I don't think this mic is so nice. Um, I tried to run from this position. This position was nailed on me from the last time when I came here. Because I was late. And I decided that this time I'm not going to be late. Praise the Lord. And when, when, when the position was given to me, yes, I said to myself, okay, I'd rather to moderate than to preach. The person said, no, you're going to preach the message. And I said, Lord, let me lose myself and find it in thee. Let me find myself in thee, O oh God, that I can bring forth whatever you have laid for me to bring forth. Praise the Lord. So I'm giving God thanks for this position that he has placed me in. I'm thanking him for his goodness. I'm thanking him for his mercies towards me. I'm thanking him for sparing my life. Praise the Lord. I'm thanking him tonight because he has set fire on my feet. Praise the Lord. And because of that reason, I am here tonight with you, lifting up the name of Jesus. You know, all week I feel everything is coming towards me. I'm more focus on tonight than yesterday's service which was so motivated and I was looking more towards praise the Lord but as I listened yesterday to the to the to the to the service it was so divine it was so unique praise the Lord and a lot of things that was said yesterday I have it in mind. And then I didn't see where it was formed, but it's like you draw and you have a picture in mind and you draw in it. You don't know how it's going to turn out. You have to keep doing the sketch. Praise the Lord. And I, I, I heard the pastor delay on this, this part of the scripture that was read. Praise the Lord. But as we start from the beginning, Jonah chapter 1. Know the word of the Lord. Know the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise and go to the Nineveh, the great city, and cry against it for their wickedness. It's come up before me. Praise the Lord. But Jonah arose and flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa. Praise the Lord. And then yesterday as we were doing the, 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 the consecration, I'm going to spin my Bible a little bit up and down. The a verse came out to me, Psalm 39, and verse, and ver, Psalms 139, and verse 8. It say, if I ascended up in heaven, thou art dear. And if I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art dear. And if I take the wings of the morning... And dwell in the uttermost place of the sea. 
even there thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me praise the lord and as she read the scripture and the scripture came out to me because i already have my um i go back again to the scripture and i say yes lord you're talking to me because god called us from different places we try to run and that's why the song came to me i'm running i'm running but my running days will soon be over praise the lord i just want to make it to the other side and some of us are in our situation and sometimes god call us and we try to run we try to escape like the first thing i try to escape from this position because i rather to moderate than to preach i said i'm running from the position but that's not the position i was supposed to be in praise the lord and a lot of time god are calling his people and we try to run we try to hide we try to go different parts we try to find faults we try to do everything just to escape but he said if i ascend unto heaven thou art dear and if i make my bed in hell behold thou art dear praise the lord and these words empower me to know that we cannot run away from god when he call you have to answer and if he send you somewhere, you have to go there. You know, Deacon Estella, motivate me tonight with her testimony. Praise the Lord. And two weeks ago, I saw her. I keep teasing her that she's half. And she's not whole again. Yesterday, I hold her. I said, you're three quarter now. And tonight, I see her look whole. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I thank God for the confession that she made. You know, the, sometimes, you know, I don't know, but when God call you and it's, it's just a different voice. If, if, if I would talk from my experience, everybody have an experience when God is calling. If somebody call me down there, no, it's a different voice. I can answer you if I want, and if I don't want, I might pretend like I don't hear you. And somebody might touch me and said, somebody's calling you. And I say, okay, I'll soon be there. Praise the Lord. But when God call you, you have to stop in your tracks and turn around. And if you don't stop and turn around, he will turn you around. If he call you to do something. Because sometimes, you know, God is calling and some, sometimes and is calling, we think that it's just, it's just, um, just a little call. But it's not just a little call. It's no surface call. It's a deep call. It's a call because he has use for you. He wants you to go and do his work. Praise the Lord. Praise him. And as we go back to Brother Jonah. And he found the ship. And go to Tarshish. So he paid the fear thereof. And went down into it. To go with them to Tarshish. From the presence of the Lord. How can you run from the presence of God? You cannot run from him. And he know, but he was trying. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea. And there was a mighty tempest in the sea. So that the ship was like to be broken. Praise the Lord. Sometimes, you know, we hit with pains. We hit with broken limbs. Accident take us out on the way. Sometimes we in big trouble. Because of disobedience. Because we want to go our own way. Sometimes maybe we would get whatever we need. But we get set back in life. Because of disobedience. 
We want to go to Tarshish instead of going the way that God wants us to go. Sometimes we are in the tempest and the mighty seas and we are wondering why are we going through all these things? Why are we going through all these things? We need to take a check back and say, God is calling me, but I'm going my own way. I'm going in my direction. I'm not going the direction that God wanted me to go. But we always try to maybe try to blame somebody else or look somewhere else. But we are not looking to ourselves that maybe we are making a mistake. Maybe we're not listening to the voice that is calling us. Praise the Lord. Then the, 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 miners, the miners were afraid. And they cried everyone unto his God. And they cast forth wares. In the, they were in the ship into the sea. They tried to throw out everything. Because they are trying to find out what is causing this problem. And how can we get rid of this problem? They tried to light the ship to see if that would take care of the situation. But the situation wasn't there. Praise the Lord. They need to search more diligently. They need to search more. Sometimes we have to search ourselves more for the problems. We wonder why we're going through so much situation. We need to search deep, deep way down. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. But Jonah was gone down into the side of the ship and lay fast asleep. You know, sometimes you have children grandchildren and you wonder at times they may be in the closet and you are saying why is he in the closet but they are hiding they are staying and they are quiet and if you check the pampas you know what to find there praise the lord they know what happened so they are hiding they are quiet they are in a little corner like this and sometimes you smell something you know that something is not right. Praise the Lord. It's the same situation with us. Sometimes we are in situation and we are trying to hide. We try to hide from each other. We, we, sometimes we say we're trying to hide even from God. You know sometimes persons might come to church and they might dress a certain way or try to do certain things because they are hiding from God. I don't want anybody to call me. Or they put on a face. A look a screw face. And said I don't want anybody to talk to me. I hide them so they're hiding from God you know. But you cannot hide from God. That is the time he's going to call you. Because something wrong. He's searching for you. The, the, the thing is heavy. The thing is not going right. The ship is not rocking right. And maybe you are the key. You are the one who's supposed to make the ship go on. You are the one who's supposed to make the ministry go on. You are the one who God wants to give the message to give to others. Praise the Lord. And you make the ship heavy. Praise the Lord. But we have to come out of that closet. We have to come out of the hiding place. We have to come out of that stubbornness. We have to come out of that own way. Praise the Lord. And let God have his way in your life today. Because there is no peace. And there is no joy. Until the Lord have his way. Praise the Lord. And sometimes you wonder why I'm stuck in this situation. Why am I under here? Why am I sleeping down here? But you know the situation. But nobody else know. But sometimes we have to search. So the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God. If so be that, God will think upon us that we perish not. They get afraid. They, they feel it so afraid. They feel they don't know what to do. 
So there was somebody else in the ship hiding in the bottom. And he asked them to call upon God. Praise the Lord. And they said, everyone to his fellow, come and let us cast lot. Praise the Lord. Praise him. So when I buck up on this part now, that said, let us cast lot. And yesterday, I heard about the lot. But it's a different lot. We have so many different lots. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I say sometimes lot will give you trouble and sometimes lot might get you out of trouble. Praise the Lord. And sometimes lot might let you find your way. And sometimes lot might make them they find what they are looking for. And lot will find the hider. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That we may know who is casting this evil upon us. So they cast lots. And the lot fell upon Jonah. Praise the Lord. I heard that lot drop yesterday. And that weight was down. So when that lot fell upon Jonah. The burden was a relief. Praise the Lord. Because they find who they were looking for. They find the hider. Praise the Lord. They find him. Then they say unto him, Tell us, we pray thee, for thou cast the evil upon us. That, what is thy occupation? They question him. They draw him out. Praise the Lord. And whence comest thou? What is thy country? And what people are thou? Praise the Lord. They have to do a thorough investigation. Praise him. So as Mr. Jonah was there, maybe he didn't know how to explain himself. But the lot was upon him. Praise the Lord. Praise him. And he said unto them, I am an Hebrew. And I fear the Lord God of heaven. Which had made the sea and the dry land. Praise the Lord. So when you know God, you know his voice. His voice that makes a difference. You know what is causing all these problems around you. You have to declare yourself. You cannot hide anymore. You have to come forth. Praise the Lord. You cannot stay down there anymore. Because God has use for you. And it doesn't matter where you go. He's going to find you. He's going to track you out. He's going to search for you. If you go to the uttermost part of the sea, he will find you. Because he know every ear that's in our head. He, I might not have any right now, but every, every ear have a number. Praise the Lord. And that's our God. So we cannot do anything that is above him. We cannot do anything and hide away from him. He know all about us. Amen. He know our downfall. He know our upcoming. Yes. It doesn't make any sense. We try to stay away from him. Or try to duck him. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. And he said. I am an Hebrew. And I fear the Lord God of heaven. Which made the sea and the dry land. Yes. Then were the men exceedingly afraid. Yes. And, he, and said unto him. Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord. Because he had told them. Praise him. You cannot hide. It doesn't matter what you try to do or where you try to go. He said, where shall I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. You need a friend to guide you to the end. You cannot hide from him. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee, that the sea may be calm unto us? For the sea wrought and was temp tempest tempestuous, being that the sea is rough, the sea is angry, the sea is crying. Praise the Lord. 
And he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea. So shall the sea be calm. But I thank God that they didn't just listen to him. They seek the Lord. Praise the Lord. He says, so shall the sea be calm for you. For I know that for my sake, this great tempest is upon you. Nevertheless, the men rode hard and bring it to the land. But they could not. Praise the Lord. They could not. For the sea wrought and was tempestuous against them. There was a struggle out there because there is something that needs to be done. Once God stop you in the track, you have to stop there. There is no further you can go. Nothing you can do. You have to surrender. Wherefore they cry unto the Lord. And said, we beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish. These men cried unto the Lord. They, they, they seek the Lord. They ask the Lord what to do. They didn't just take the word of Jonah and say, throw me overboard. Because they couldn't manage any more trouble that they have. So they seek the Lord. They, say, they cried unto the Lord and said, we beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish. For this man's life. For this man's life. And lay us. Lay not upon us. Innocent blood. For thou, O Lord, has done it. Please thee. Praise the Lord. So they took Jonah. They, 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 they cast him forth into the sea. And the sea ceased its rage. Praise the Lord. So sometimes when we are going through all these situations, we need to take a step, need to take a check with ourselves and say, maybe it's something that I'm not doing that is right. Maybe it's something I'm going somewhere else from where God wants me to go. The call of God is on my life. He needs me there at the moment, just at, at this time. You have to drop whatever you're doing and run to him. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Or else others might be in trouble. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Others, it might cost others life. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise him. Yes. You know, as I heard the testimonies, and, and as Pastor talked about the accident, I remember an accident I had. I was coming from Runaway Bay, and the car, there was a car coming ahead of me. And I only know that I see the car. I didn't hear any sound or anything. And when I woke up, I find myself going towards the hospital. It's like I was sleeping. And I find myself like coming out of my sleep. And I said, what happened? I know a car was coming. And they said they thought that I was dead. Because um, it was a doctor who was there. He was a smelling salt to put up my nose. And that's how they know I was, I, I was alive. So they took me to the hospital. Praise the Lord. But sometimes you're in the wrong place. And a little boy foot broke in the car. My tongue split. And they had to sew it up. But I'm just saying this. Because sometimes you're in the wrong place. But God still protects you. Because he have work for you to do. And this was a wake up call for me to run. Praise the Lord. To run from my situation that I was in. To run to him. But he could have taken my life there. But he still spared my life. Praise the Lord. And this is what happened to brother Jonah today. God spared his life. He could have lost his life. Because he tell them to throw him overboard. And they throw him over. Nobody throw overboard and come back alive. Only God can do that. So sometimes we find ourselves in the same situation. Just don't know the danger that we, 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 we fall into. Don't know the danger that God save us from. Don't know that he sent a fish to save us. Praise the Lord. To bring us back. To his fall. Praise the Lord. 
And that's the reason why we are here tonight. Because of the calling of God. Praise him. Amen. So he took Jonah and cast him forth into the sea. The sea and cast the range. Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly and offered sacrifice unto the Lord and made a vow. You know, every time things happen to us like this, we always made that vow. We always go down on our knees and we cry unto the Lord and make that vow. But when we make the vow, we have to keep it. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have to remember. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have to know that it's not an easy road and it's not an easy thing after that. But the enemy is going to keep coming after us. But the experience teaches us that we have to keep going forward. Amen. The experience teaches us that we cannot stop. We cannot look back. We have to just keep running. Because the calling of God is on our life. Praise the Lord. And that's the reason why we are here tonight. Because of the calling of God. And if we have loved ones out there. And you hear the voice of God is calling you. Stop what you're doing. Answer that call. And come to him. Praise the Lord. You can come to him. It doesn't matter the situation that you are in. You have to let it go and come to him. Because only he alone can save you. Only he alone of life. Praise the Lord. That can give us life eternal. Don't wait until you are in the, the casket to come to God. Because that will be too late. Praise the Lord. He give you the chance now to come to him. He's telling you to come to him tonight. Because if you hear that voice. Harden not your heart. Praise the Lord. The voice makes a difference. When it speaks, it relieves my troubled mind. That's the only voice that makes a difference. Praise the Lord. And that voice can make a difference in your life tonight. You may be struggling through situation, but that voice can make a big difference in your life. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Once you answer his call and you come to him, he can protect you from any situation. He's a provider. He can provide for you anything that you need. Praise the Lord. He provides for me. Praise the Lord. And that's the reason why I can call upon him. Praise him. I am in situation and I call on God and he deliver me. Praise the Lord. Not every time, sometimes you might come and you testify certain things. But you know that God deliver you every day from situations. So many different situations. I remember I was going through something in my life. And I call upon God and there is no, I, I tried everywhere. I tried everything. Let me say it's money. I needed some money. I tried Every situation, I go to this one, I go to that one. I tried even where I work. My boss, they said, no, our rules is that we don't lend money. I tried it, but nowhere could lend me. And you know what? See, where did I go? Down on my knees. Where the sorrow rise. And I talk to God. Down on my knees. And I lie on my belly. And I said, Lord, this money we have to pay this bill now or else. I don't know what's going to happen. Things just turn. And nobody can help you around you. And God provide somebody right here to just look at me. And he said, Brother James, but you're not smiling today. Because that person knows that I'm always smiling. And he said, something wrong, man. And we said, no, man, everything all right. And then the person just go to the other half and start to talk. And I didn't talk to the person. And it's two person go and solve the problem. Solve the problem. And I thank God. Because there is no, it doesn't matter where you go. There was no, but no, no help. It's not like sometimes, you know. Nobody around you cannot help you in the situation that you are in, you know. 
You cannot vex with them. They just cannot help you. Maybe they need help too. Praise the Lord. But God will send somebody who you didn't ask. And they come and ask you. And you are saying to yourself, then, oh, this person know this situation. They just come and ask me. Because they know the smile and the smile wasn't there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So that is a trademark for me. So if you see I'm not smiling, something wrong. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Maybe I'm going through a certain situation. Praise him. And I thank God because I answer his call. When God call you, you know, sometimes you're in a city, you, you tell yourself, but God, I cannot go back to your house. I cannot go back to this place. Not of what I have done. I cannot go there. But who is you to tell God that you cannot go there? Who is Moses to tell God that you cannot talk? God said to you, say, who make mouth? Who make your mouth? It's me making Moses. I make your mouth. You can do what I tell you to do. And I thank God for helping me. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Helping me to answer his call. And if I answer that call, you can answer that call too. Don't think that you are in a position where you cannot answer the call. He's calling you tonight. And he wants you to come. Come to him. It doesn't matter. You have to leave what you're doing and come to God. He can fix your problem. You cannot fix the situation. Nobody around you cannot fix it. But God can fix it. He's a fixer. Praise the Lord. And because he's a fixer, I can be here rejoicing tonight. Jumping. Singing. Feeling good. Praise the Lord. Feeling good in the Lord. Praise him. And I feel good. Good, good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good. I feel good. Sometimes, you know, I'm playing the drum, you know, and I feel something under my feet. And I just want to get up. But sometimes I, really, I want to play and I want to get up. I want to run. I want to, you know, Omari, he give me a, 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 a motivation. And when he's right here, he's, he's motivating me, you know, I'm playing. And I said, it's just a few of us in here, you know. But I'm still playing like it's the, the, the place is full. Because sometimes you might see that it's just a few of us, but thousands of people are watching us, listening to us. Praise the Lord. So we have to worship like if the house is full. So I pretend like Amari and worshiping God over there like the place is full. I'm here right now and I feel like I'm talking to a million people and I'm telling you to come to God. Praise the Lord. He put me in this position to call you tonight to tell you to come to him. There's no situation that God cannot take you out of. There's no situation where he cannot make peace in your life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He can give you happiness. He can give you joy. He can give you comfort. He can give you love. Praise the Lord. He can give you everything that you want. Praise the Lord. You just need to stop what you're doing and come to him. Praise the Lord. Don't try to solve the problem because you cannot solve it. Praise the Lord. God is the problem solver. He's the one that can solve all the problems. He's the one who can make the crooked straight. Praise the Lord. It doesn't matter how you crook up. He can straighten you out. Praise the Lord. He can lift you up. He can put you in high places. Don't think of yourself in low places. And you're going to stay here. God can lift you up from whatever situation you are in. And put you in high places. Praise the Lord. So come to him tonight. He is our keeper. He is our shade upon our right hand. The sun shall not smite us by day. Not the moon by night. Because our God is our keeper. Praise the Lord. Come to him tonight. And this is my few words in Jesus' name.